In this video, we'll be taking a look at the binary encoding library Avro. And so whenever you have data, you have multiple ways of storing it, the most common of which are CSV, XML, and JSON. JSON is typically used nowadays because one, it's less verbose than XML, and uh, also it works well with JavaScript. The problem with JSON is that in the realm of big data, when you're working with terabytes of data, if you repeat the keys in every single record, it ends up wasting a lot of space. And so by using Avro, we can save a lot of space. The way it works is rather than have the schema stored with the data itself, you retrieve the schema typically from a schema repository whenever you're writing the data or you're reading the data and we'll get into that uh, in a second so in essence the data itself will just be concatenated together and for example if you had a string well you would have the length of the string and then that would just be followed by the UTF-8 bytes, which are the characters that make up the string. Let's see what else is worth mentioning here. So when you're storing a large file, you might store the schema once at the start of the file as opposed to with every other file. And whenever two processes are communicating over the network, they can negotiate the schema and then use that for the lifetime of the connection. Like I mentioned before, Kafka will end up using a pattern that takes advantage of a schema registry, and that will actually uh, retrieve the schemas from some remote location. And uh, one of the most interesting features of Avro and what makes it a good fit for a message bus like Kafka is that whenever you're writing messages, sorry, whenever the schema switches, it doesn't actually break anything. So for example, suppose we had the following Avro schema. And so we have a ID field, a name field, and a fax number. And let's say later down the road, we notice that no one's really using fax numbers anymore. And so we want to switch that to an email field. Well, we can go ahead and do that. And all that will happen is that whenever a application that is reading data using this schema, if it is using a, so if it calls the get fax number on a on data that was encoded with the new schema, well then that would just return null. And if a application calls the get email function on a on data that was encoded using the old schema, well again that would just return null, but it wouldn't actually crash anything. And so let's take a look here at what it would look like. So first we're gonna go ahead and download the tireball for Avro. And then to decompress it, we're just gonna run this. And then we're gonna go ahead and enter the directory. And from here, we're gonna want to run the setup script. I uh, ended up running it with the wrong Python and so just tagging on a 3 right here will make it work. And we can verify that it worked by running Python 3 and then importing Avro. No errors, which means it successfully work, uh, installed. <laughs> Create a file and this file is going to hold our Avro schema. So let's call it user avsc. And I'm going to go ahead and paste the following schema right here. So 
this schema is going to have a name field, a favorite number field, and a favorite color field. And with Avro, you want to explicitly say whether the field can have a null value or not. And so the favorite number and favorite color here are optional. So I'll go ahead and save that. Now I'm just going to jump back. All right, so let's rerun our notebook. And then again, I'm going to have to grab this. Drag that over. All right, let's try this again. And we lost our libraries, but that's OK. So we're going to go ahead and import those again. And so we can read our schema like this and it doesn't recognize it all right i was in the wrong directory so now that we successfully read our schema i'm going to print it here so it says avro schema the next thing we're going to want to do is to write our data using the schema and to do that we run the following lines and so we're using the data file writer class and we're going to open a file called users.avro. We're going to make sure we pass in our schema. And we're going to go ahead and create two people, Alyssa, Alyssa and Ben. And then Alyssa is going to have a favorite number. And then Ben's going to have a favorite number and a favorite color. So running that, we'll create our file. And if we want to read the file now, we would run this code. And so we would use the data file reader class. Again, we will have to make sure that we use our schema here. And uh, it will end up reading our users like this. And if I go back here, for example, so if we at our users.avro file, you can see right here that it stored our schema at the start of the file. And then right here we have our encoded data. And that's why it looks so odd. But whenever we read the file using the schema, well, then we get back to the clear text like we saw before. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.